Welcome, folks. I'm Jabby Kawai, joined by Char Kirk. What's up? We're looking at Marvel Studios' What If, official trailer at Disney Plus from Marvel Entertainment. You guys, thanks so much for joining us. Please subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell icon. All notifications. All right, here we go. Yeah, peace. I love peace. I'd be out of a job with peace. Oh, no. Who? Come on, girl. Oh! Do we know each other? Time. <laughs> Reality. Reality. It's changeable. Oh, what? Yep. Yep. Where you want to be? That's the question, isn't it? Every universe is different. Each one unique. <laughs> How are the duck? <laughs> Slow down a little bit. There's a few people in the room that don't understand. Not me, I, I get it. Uh. <laughs> Who are you? The name's Captain Carter. Choice. <laughs> I am the watcher. I observe all that transpires here. But I do not, cannot, will not interfere. I guess I have to freestyle then. <laughs> we have you out of bird. A ravager never flies solo. I said, never flies solo. Uh, is that some kind of catchphrase? <laughs> oh, interesting. Nice. <laughs> Let me wear it for a second. Journey to face the unknown and ponder the question. That's super exciting, That's man. That's really, really cool. I mean, especially coming off of Loki and seeing all the Loki variants and stuff like that, the Loki from alternate dimensions or universes and all that stuff. I mean, this is really neat to see, like, what if things went in a different direction? Well, yeah, exactly. And, and for me, especially with Killmonger, right? Like, he was a character that I think we all empathized with, that we all could have seen how, you know, if life had gone a different way for him then he could be a hero as right. well because like a lot of the values that he really believes in are the same as our heroes they, right. it's just a different path right and so it's like oh what if i mean i think that's kind of what they're right. saying here it was interesting to suggest that there's the possibility he would have helped out tony stark in the middle of afghanistan if i recall correctly yeah because this is i mean i'm sure everybody knows but for those who don't this is a scene straight out of iron man one and it's just rewritten to include Killmonger saving him. Yeah. As, as opposed to Iron Man having to save himself and become Iron Man. Exactly. And like, what are the ram ramifications of that, right? Because like that, that was the whole catalyst for Tony Stark kind of bettering himself and realizing what his weapons were doing, right? And right. then so here he's saved. Does that change anything? How does that change anything? I would love to know how T'Challa ends up, you know, fulfilling the, the role of Star-Lord. Yeah. How he gets acquired. I mean, I guess, I mean, I I don't know how that adds up or how that makes sense, but I'm def definitely damn curious to find out how you would tell that story. Yeah. Maybe they don't necessarily give you the entire backstory and they just sort of drop you in the middle of it. Like, here's what would have happened. These two characters that you're familiar with end up together for inexplicable reasons. Well, yeah. I mean, like the whole premise is what if. And so it's like, okay, what if he ended up as like an intergalactic hero as opposed to being a hero on Earth. And like, what if Captain America was Peggy Carter? Right. You know? Well, I think the question is also like, what if Killmonger was the ruler of the throne instead of T'Challa? Sure, yeah. You know? All of that stuff. Right. And I'm a little bit confused as to why she's called Captain Carter. 
as opposed to Captain England or Captain Britain. I mean, Captain Carter is the easiest way to recognize her because of Agent Carter. Sure. I get that. But Steve Rogers isn't called Captain Rogers. In He's called Captain America. Right. So naturally she should be called, I would, this is a nitpicky thing. Naturally she should be called Captain England or something. Or Captain or, Britain. Or Captain London. You Captain know, London. Or Captain East London. Britain? I said Captain Britain earlier. Oh, did you? Yes. Okay. I said Captain Britain. I said Captain England or Captain Britain. I love this line with Thor where he's like, you should slow down and explain it for everybody who doesn't get it. I get it. I totally get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the voice they have to imitate Thor or Chris uh, Hemsworth sounds just like him. Yeah, it's really good. Um, it's really good. I'm assuming it's not him. I'm assuming it's an imitator because it sounds I, so close that if you said it was him, I would have believed you. Yeah, totally. But yeah. then there are other voices where I'm like, yeah, that's... Well, Robert Downey Jr. specifically is not there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, that's definitely not a voice that I recognize. Peggy Carter's voice sounds very similar. Yeah. So I, I don't know if they're using any of the... Sampling? Like, yeah. If, or if they're sampling or if they're using any of the original talent playing themselves or if they've just got some really really good voice actors who can replicate their voices i'm imagining robert jenny jr is very very cost prohibitive for use yeah. in this show but i do wish that they were able to make a deal with him to be in this show because it's supposed to be all connected to the same thing right yeah. it's like i get that maybe you can justify it by saying well it's an alternate universe and blah 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 or alternate dimension but still it's like it would have been cool to just have his voice back for those of us who are nostalgic about him and sure. you know, don't want him to be replaced i like the fact that it is animated because it opens up the possibilities to a lot of really cool things like action wise or you know like fantasy wise or anything like that because i feel like with animation there are fewer limitations on what you could do yeah you it's know, easier to, to achieve yeah. yeah i mean especially when you're replacing all the talent with different voice talent you know yeah. you can eat more way more easily just start making shit up and having different situations and scenarios and not have to pay for the cost of production or the same talent or any of that stuff well yeah like it could go really really bonkers which yeah. is a, you know a very fun idea to think about it's like how far could they take it because the idea itself is already quite out there but i guess it, like you said it is very much in keeping with everything that we're seeing now because we are starting to explore or the multiverse, right? Yeah. And so this is just kind of taking it further. It feels like, honestly, it feels kind of like a fan film done by Marvel itself. Like, oh, we can do that. Yeah. <laughs> we, you don't have to watch these silly YouTube videos. Don't worry, we, we can, got you. We can do the fan films ourselves. You know, when you see like the alternate versions of Harry Potter and whatnot right, right, know, right. On, on, on the internets. It is very, very interesting to see T'Challa in Star-Lord's place and see sort of the same quip being used of like I said I don't do this alone or whatever he said you know or fly in or, or a, a ravager you know, doesn't something whatever like the line that. was yeah. like that that's very much a star lord scenario and it's interesting to see him in that place yeah so and also you know it's cool to just see more of T'Challa you know cause it's sad I that know. he's gone I know. Uh, and so to just have him back even if it is animation like that's neat, you know. And the guy imitating him sounded pretty good. I thought so, anyway. Uh, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out. Hopefully you enjoyed that. And uh, be sure to subscribe. Please vote this video up if you can. Check out our other reactions, reviews, short films, vlogs, and interviews. I'm Jabby Koi. This is... Achara Kirk. Peace out.